Hi, I'm Eric Halpern with YBA Sports. In today's blog, I'll be discussing some underperformers in fantasy football thus far for the 2010 season. Cedric Benson and D'Angelo Williams, both of which are on my team. I bet I'm not the only one with complaints about them. Let's start with Benson. He only has two touchdowns on the season and is averaging 3.8 yards per carry. He's had only one 100-yard game, and the Bengals' play calling might have something to do with this poor performance. Last year, when they gave the ball to Benson more, the Bengals won more. This year, the Bengals are 2-5, and five, and they've decided to go with the pass more than the run. Maybe they should rethink that strategy. Benson owners are hoping for more production, but don't expect that to happen this week. Why? They're playing the Pittsburgh Steelers, who allow less than 3 yards per carry. I drafted Benson in the second round, and he's been nothing but a bust. Speaking of busts, let's talk about Panthers' D'Angelo Williams. This guy has scored just one touchdown this season. He hasn't even come close to a 100-yard game. He's on a bad Carolina team that's always behind and forced to pass. Although it's fantasy football, you still have to dress for the game in order to even have a chance at gaining some points. And Williams might lead the league in do-not plays. Last week he had a toe injury, and he's doubtful again this week. The guy who will benefit from his absence, however, is Jonathan Stewart. He got the start last week and struggled, but expect, expect some solid production from him against a weak Saints rush defense. In closing, I really want to thank Cedric Benson and D'Angelo Williams for destroying my fantasy team. I gave up a second round pick for Benson, and I'm glad I traded Aaron Rodgers to get D'Angelo Williams and Tony Romo, both of whom are injured. Clearly a great trade for me. On a separate note related to the Randy Moss saga, now that Kenny Britt is out, expect Nate Washington's numbers to improve. Moss's presence on his team has helped the second wide receiver, no matter where he plays. That's all for this week's fantasy blog. For my sake, and many other fantasy owners, maybe Benson and Williams' numbers will shoot up in the future. I guess that's why they call this fantasy football. If you have any fantasy football questions, email them in to info at youngbroadcasters.com, and I'll answer them for you on the next blog. For now, I'm Eric from YBA Sports.